Hey guys, it's Dana with Fabulous Style, and I have a um, thrift haul for you. I was at a Goodwill two days ago, and um, they were having a 50% off all their clothes sale. I've never seen that before. I think it's because, I mean, one of the workers was saying that they always get so many donations in the summer and they're starting, donations are flooding in, so they just decided to try and get rid of all their clothes. And so now, oh, I want to go back over there so that I can get more stuff. But I bought so much on Wednesday that I am not letting myself go back. They're putting out all new stuff. So anyway, let me just get started with um, this haul and show you what I got. Um, all right, I will start right here. Um, this is a Nike Golf jacket. It's kind of cool. It's got this like a perforated type um, fabric, but it's an extra large, I believe. Thermofit was five dollars. And just a nice fitted jacket. I think I saw a couple of really light spots like on the arm. So I'm going to try to wash that and see if I can get those out. Uh, another thing I bought, somebody had already, I got there in the afternoon. I didn't even know they were having the sale. I was just going to run in there and look at purses and shoes. Um, so this is an Ava Franco, just super plain little sheath dress. So it's just straight sheath dress. It has pockets, so not super valuable, but... I thought it was cute. It does have little um, belt loops, and there's no belt, so I will, according to whatever size this is, it's a four, so I'll probably try to look for just a skinny black patent leather belt or just a plain black belt in a small, and then just pair it with this, and um, note that in the listing that it has a, a new belt attached. This top I thought was so cute it's mod cloth and it's a 3x and it has that's the goodwill tag oh there's it has like the extra little buttons so I don't think this was ever worn it's just really cute little short um, top with the floral so pretty I love mod cloth stuff. If it's cute, I always, always pick it up. And this, oh, I kind of got this as a, as a, um, a gag gift thing. It's for my sister. It's, it says Ireland on it. I'm going to ask her if she wants it. She's going to Ireland in September. I know she will not want this, but it is this, I don't know how to say that, Carrig, Carrigdon brand this is really nice it's made in Ireland I'm sure that someone bought this in a tourist shop but it is really nice wool so it, it might sell I don't know I guess I'll have to list it but it was three dollars so I thought I'd get it and and give it to her just for the look on her face so I really don't think she she would take it with her plus it weighs kind of a lot so wouldn't want to have to pack it unless you're really gonna wear it Another mod cloth. This is a 2X. It's a cute little um, ivory top. It just has rows of ruffles down the, down the front and back. This sweater was $2.50. And it is, I think that's knitted and knotted. That little charm. Yeah, and it's just kind of a long, kind of a peach color, long tunic sweater. Might need a little bit of sweater shaving, but cute. Most of what I got was more fall type stuff. I didn't really get a whole lot of summer stuff. And this is Leith. And I don't know, it's really pretty. This I did pay six fifty for. Um, Leith is not always the best pickup, I don't think. So I think it's a Nordstrom brand, 
But this is, it's just a beautiful print. Beautiful floral. And it's just an open, oh yeah, it's a duster that you would wear over um, a dress, I guess. Or you could kind of dress it down with some jeans. This I bought more for myself. What was the, so it was $2, but just a sports bra. Um, Avia, Ravia, I don't know. I just figured once I try it on, it's actually been worn a little more than I thought, or it's just grabbed little fuzzies along the bottom. So, sweater shave, and I'll try that on. Uh, this skirt, I just bought a plain black stretch skirt for myself. Uh, this, oh yeah, this, I thought this was pretty nice. I don't buy a whole lot of Jade Jill, but this is an extra, extra large tall, and it's tinsel, lyocell, but it's just a, like a, oh, it's just kind of, it's an over shirt, like a jacket, a thin stretch knit jacket, but in the back it has, a, the slit is, comes up pretty high on the back. I just think it's a flattering. I think that'll sell. Oh, this I just thought was really pretty. I Oh, it's a maternity top. Oh, I know somebody who's having a baby. Uh, it's Robin's Nest, which I think is either is an anthropology brand, but it's this cute little sweater. Floral. I did not notice that it was a maternity, though. So, and it needs to be washed. Uh, this is Daniel Rain. Um, it's a 1X, so that's why I bought it, because it's really plain. But I thought it's, you know, a little pop-over top. It's, you could wear this year-round, just to wear, kind of a wear-to-work top. And something else I bought, I've been, <laughs> I've been wanting... A magic bullet uh, mostly just to make sauces with to put over beans and rice and, and vegetables and stuff uh, so I did pay $12.99 for this but it came with these extra um, I guess there's not an actual like lid at all so anyway there's three so there's basically three different um, blades. I don't know anything about these. I haven't tested this yet, but um, I figured I'll try it out. I actually, ooh, I would have to return it today, so I better, I'm going to test it as soon as I'm done with this video. Um, after I looked at the dresses and didn't find a whole lot, then I thought, well, what are, what's something that, like a category that people wouldn't really be looking at right now? So, and that I typically don't want to spend the full price on so I went to coats and because most of their coats like this one are priced $12.99 so this was $6.50 and it is this is the this is Obermeyer Northern Lights it's a size 8 the most of the coats I got are like a medium has a hood with a fur lining and Obermeyer it's an expensive brand it's just a longer kind of an old a little bit older style but it does oh no yeah it has like an inside drawstring at the waist just black so easy to pair any um ski pants with it i also i have more coats but i also looked at the shoes so i figured people probably weren't looking in the shoes i found these silver and tan Madewell and a Dior Say flats. Um, so I thought those were cute. They were $6.99. And then, oh, I bought these. Did I buy these mostly for myself? 
I think these are my size. So, uh, the I think these are cute. Plus, they were only two fifty, so they were the half price color. But they're Tommy Bahama, just little. They're flip flops, but they have you know a leather sole, and they're kind of nicer flip flops. And then um, I bought these men's shoes because they're in really nice condition. It says they're a size 10, but they seem kind of small. So I'm wondering if that's, because that wouldn't be UK sizing. I don't know. I guess they are a size 10. But they're Kohans, but they have this lobster. It says pinch. Main Classic, is that what that says? Yeah, anyway, I just noticed inside that it says Pinch. So I looked that up, and the and the Kohan, this line, um, seems to do really well. So these are just plain uh, loafers, which I can't think. And then I bought this wallet actually for myself. I, it was only $3.99. I love, I have a purse by um, Halston Heritage. So I think that's the thing for it. This is really just a little wristlet, but I like zip around wa wallets. So I'm going to use this as a wallet. I wonder if this comes off. It does not. So that might be kind of irritating, or it might make it easier to find my wallet. But it's nice and clean inside. Oh, it just says Halston. So, yeah. So, got that for myself. It's my wallet. Still in good shape, but I'm tired of it. And this, this one was my um, gamble piece. This is a long wool coat. They had it priced at $49.99, so I paid $25 for it. But it's a Giorgio Armani, and it's a size 10. So, um, it's just, it's got a belt. It's belted wool coat. I looked it up to see if there could possibly be cashmere in it, but it's not. It's wool, and it's just nice. It's a nice single-breasted, I think. No, it's a double-breasted coat. And then this coat I would not have bought at, I think they had it priced $12.99, so I paid $6.50 for it. It has probably seen better days, but um, it's a size 20. I'll have to look that up and see if that's the UK sizing, but it's a Bowden. And it seems like I may have seen this before. It's, um, but it's a polka dot, just brown with kind of a aqua polka dot coat. And then over here, this is a nice thin puffer jacket, size small. It's spider brand, that's the spider logo right here and it's just a nice little fitted a spider on the back and what was this press priced at $19.99 so I paid $10 for that one and then the last coat is this one was $10 and it's a Nils I never did get over to where I thought maybe the ski pants would be. It seems like with Nils, a lot of their jackets will have matching pants. So I did not try to look. But this is the resort collection. So I figured it's probably a more expensive Nils coat. It's just this really pretty gold color. And it has a hood that folds up and then goes behind the collar. And then the last, the last stuff is in this big rolling 
It's like a rolling duffel bag. And it's that, this is upside down. It's F-U-L, fuel, maybe, is how you say that. But, um, seemed to have pretty good comps. I looked it up. So I had her put a bunch of the stuff inside here. So I could just easily roll it into the house. So it's got lots of compartments and whatnot, but she... When she zipped it up, she made it so the zipper was at the bottom. Right? No. Oh my goodness. So that's not even... Oh, maybe it's all in here. There's a bunch of zippers on this thing. It's actually really nice. Uh, okay. Oh. Okay, so this is a really pretty color. It's a teal... Fabletics was five dollars. Um, just a jacket, like a trainer type jacket. It's kind of neat. It has this in the back, it has a crisscross, and then it's kind of open underneath. I think. Does it? Well, it's kind of mesh, so maybe. Let's in a little air, but I thought that was nice. And it also crisscrosses at the bottom. And oh, these are just a pair of swim trunks for my husband. I don't think they're even a nice, there's no brand on them, just swim trunks. Oh, 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 yeah, this dress is really pretty. I, I hate it that it's a strapless dress because I have a harder time. Um, selling strapless dresses but if I can come up with some kind of straps it does have the little loops for it but it's 11 C's um, so it's three dollars and it's just so pretty this little micro print and then it has some um, you know trim on it and then on the bottom it's really pretty Dress. Oh, this I thought was so. I love sequins. I don't wear sequins, but I do love them. And I notice, you know, like in the winter time for parties and stuff, sequin items sell. And since it was half off, and they only originally had it eight ninety nine, it was four fifty. It's this pretty vintage um, sequin top. And this would actually be, re I like the sequin tops because you can just wear them with jeans um, if you want to. But it's a size 42, so it's a nice little bit bigger size. Comes up on the sides. And just a really pretty top. It's like a floral. It's beading and sequins. Floral and paisley. And then found this in the sweaters it's a st john sport but it's just a pretty plain you know zip front cardigan in black so should be pretty easy to sell it was 350. oh i thought this was so pretty i bought it because it's new with tag it's a size large i'll probably try this on was six ninety nine, so it was three hundred and fifty. But it's a loft, and it's just a really pretty print, just like a nice little long sleeve popover blouse. And what was this? I do not remember this at all. It's a sweater <laughs> of some sort. Oh yeah, I'm. Okay, so this was $2. It's got this butterfly on it. I don't even know what this brand is. I think I accidentally put this in my cart. But it's just, it's a, a long kind of a cow neck sweater. And inside, it's cotton acrylic wool. It's not from Anthropology, so I don't know anything about that 
I thought this was a beautiful color. This top, it's a, I think I must have bought this wanting to try it on myself. It's a Lauren Conrad from Kohl's. Uh, it's $3, $3. But I just thought it was cute. Like a little work top or to wear with skirts. Put that over there. And this is Susanna Monaco. See, or Susanna. It seems like I've sold this brand before. It was, this one was $3.50. Susanna Monaco. It's just a, it's kind of a purplish, dark blue. Hopefully it's not maternity, but it's like a side ruched knit dress. Bodycon or what else, whatever. What else do you call those? Uh, this is a fleece. Like super soft, fuzzy. Oh, Mondetta. Mondetta. Please thing. This was $3. It's got like a funnel neck. Oh, this blazer. I bought this just because it feels so nice. And I think it's maybe, like judging from... Uh, from the tags. It's new with tags, but I think it's kind of like something someone bought in the 90s and then just never wore. It's 100% silk. I bought it because it felt like it was silk and it's it's got the tags, but doesn't this kind of look like a tag you would have seen like in the 90s? And extra buttons here and then it's this Renlin collection but since it was half off I went ahead and bought that it was five dollars uh, oh I thought this was cute I don't know if anybody um, I think it's kind of collectible this is a Laura Laurel Birch this is a t-shirt and it's a women's cut t-shirt has those little famous cats that Laurel Birch stuff has. And that is it. The, la the last thing I bought was this DOP. This is for my, my husband. Just looks like a brand new wallet. DOP is the brand. I didn't even look it up. It's just really nice and it was only $2.50. So um, got that for him. And that's, that is the end of my haul. <laughs> that's what I bought on half off day. It was half off clothes. So like none of the shoes were half off. These Cole Hans, actually they, they were marked $24 and then they were half off of that. So I did pay $12 for those because the blue tags were still half off. But other than that, um, that's what I got and I need to start listing and get this stuff ready for fall because all of a sudden people are going to start shopping for fall stuff like at the end of July, you know, so it'll give me a little time and uh, maybe on my next trip I can actually find some summer stuff. So, well, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.